Why file for an extension on taxes? When I'm done with you, by the end of this video, you will never not file for an extension and you will kick yourself for all the years you filed on April 15th is how strong I am in this conversation. So get a pen and paper if you're serious about reducing your taxes. So number one, you need to connect with an expert. Well, I have found some of the world leading experts and uh, they're not TurboTax, they're not you, they're not your brother's best friend, they're not some little bookkeeping system, they are an expert on a team. So what I do is I have you do a three year tax return review when you join the table or hire into our community because all of you have over overpaid taxes because you're doing it wrong filing April 15th. Number one. Number two, the biggest mistakes that you're making by filing in April and not filing the extension. So what is that whole list of costly errors that are happening right now and that you've been doing for some of you for decades? And then number three, the absolute benefits are gonna become obvious, but I will point to a few very clear distinctions that a lot of you haven't probably thought about. So number one, when we talk about an expert, the number one question I would ask an expert is what kind of tax returns do you file? Are you just doing the 1040 EZs and you got a whole lineup of people, you just check them all off? If you are an employee and you do not have a company, I want you to click on the link below. You're gonna get a strategy session immediately with my team and we're gonna figure out in America, should you be an LLC, a limited partnership, S Corp, C Corp and get a trust? The answer is yes. Let our team decide. Do not go to a .com. It's gonna cost you more in errors because you're gonna be clicking little buttons and you actually don't know what kind of a company you need. To do an extension, you have to have a company. Now, can you do it as an individual? Yeah, but we're not talking about the benefits I'm talking about. We're talking about somebody who has an employee job and is a business owner or you're just a sole business owner and why file? So when you look for an expert, you want an expert that files corporate returns because you're gonna become a company. Let's leave the job over here for now, All right? So as you become a company and I call it Live Corporate Life, I would like to invite you to really understand that. So come to my Millionaire Intensive. I'm giving you two tickets below. You can come, listen, understand corporate life. I teach it in the first two hours of that day. I do it every three weeks. We're doing it 17 to 20 times a year and you need to be here. So let's be there, understand corporate life. So that's number one. And when you find an expert, you stay with them. And as you grow, you're meeting with a minimum quarterly. You don't just meet like the week before you file taxes or come with your big box and say, here's my year of my mess. You should be doing bookkeeping throughout the year. You should be meeting, planning, doing what I call a gap analysis. I'm going to give you the first three chapters of my Millionaire Maker book so you get really clear what your gap is, which is where are you and what do you want? So an expert and having an expert do this, if you have IRS issues, you're never gonna talk to a three letter agency. You're gonna let our experts do it. I have 28 financial experts around me and our team and our community that will help you. Number two, what does a true expert do? They actually help you activate 81,000 pages or more of the tax code. See, if you're not a company, you can't activate the tax code. The simplest way that I teach it, companies make money, individuals get taxed. If you are just an individual and an employee, you have very little, maybe as a sole proprietor, you have like a little tiny schedule, so you have 13 to 33 options. Good for you. Why don't you activate 81,000? Anyone 18 and older can do this. It's not difficult. It's different. And a lot of your typical CPAs, they're just tax filers. They're not strategists. There is a huge difference if you're ever paying taxes. And again, I'm going to remind you, those of you who come to the big table or more, we'll give you a free three-year tax return review just to show you how much you've overpaid. Most of you are overpaying 30 to 40,000 on average. The majority of higher income earners, you're paying 70 to 100,000. So the tuition is worth accessing our team. So again, get a strategy session with our team. Make sure you connect with us. Why file an extension once you're really in and you have a strategy? Well, first of all, your company doesn't file taxes until September of the year after. So we're in 2023. So everyone that at my clients our companies are filing taxes in September of 2023 from 2022. And then in October, all of the pass-through entities and your final, your personal then final return marries up to it all. So it's a September and October tax filing date for anyone wealthy. That's just what we do. So April 15th is no longer your problem. Besides making sure that your strategist actually did their extensions, let them do it all. They have online vaults. They can hold all your taxes. If there's ever a question, ever not it, they put their license on the line to do this. So our guys aren't doing anything illegal. They're using the code. Most people use 33 pages, not 80,000 pages, which is why you're overpaying because you're not using the deductions that are legally allowed for you because you just don't know. And if you try to figure this out, you might as well just go 
go back to school, get an accounting degree, get a master's of accounting and become a CPA. That's how much studying and depth you need to know to do this right. So the benefit of filing the extension, the biggest benefit is people like us don't look for a return. We look for the lowest amount that we can pay legally in September and October. 10 months later. So what does that mean to you? You keep all your money and then whatever is due, you pay in September and October, 10 months, nine, 10 months after year end. So most of you, you blow your year and you get all excited about January because you can't wait for return. The minute I hear somebody say, I can't wait for their tax return in January, I know you're doing it all wrong. I don't even need to ask you a question. You're doing it wrong. You shouldn't be excited about that. Ever had one in January. I think that's weird. My whole goal is to pay the least amount in September and October. I know people that have made millions and their return back was six, eight, 10,000 in October from the year before. So do you get excited about that? No, you get darn excited that you didn't have to pay millions and millions and millions on the millions of taxes that you would. Now, some of you out there, you're gonna rip on this in the engagement and say, oh, people that are rich should pay taxes. We are. We're just using the entire code. The system's not broke. It was built this way. So use it. Stop being broke and lazy and cheap. None of those strategies are going to work for you. Sorry. Now, before I go on to the last one, which is my favorite, subscribe to this channel. I talk about this stuff all the time. Subscribe, click the notification button, share this with your friends. Any of you, again, I'm going to cut right into you. NIL, NFL, pro players anywhere, even golfing, even you XFL players, like come on, stop killing yourself financially by choice or by ignorance. And I say it that way. Let me help you. I'm your advocate. I'm your family advocate. So you don't have to be broke at the end of your career because because most of you, the statistics of an injury, which means then you go from a lot to nothing, are astounding. Don't let that happen to you. Have a financial plan and a financial base so you know about it. So last thing, one of the benefits, I think we talked about it, the benefits, they've been fairly obvious. You get to keep your money. You pay at the last minute, which is September and October. Again, let your companies make all the money, activate all the deductions. You make a small amount of money personally because you personally don't need a lot of money to live. Your companies can own the vehicles. Your companies can own your jets if you want a private jet. I've had a private plane. My company owned it. I didn't own it. I don't even own a phone. Get it in the right sequence because right now most of you are completely backwards. So if you have any questions about any of this, go to asklaurel.com, ask a question, make a request. We'll be right here. I'll be back tomorrow.